Chaos Generator is a tool, well, essentially a process that we've developed at the House of Brave that has allowed us to bring back in the philosophy of collaboration between multiple disciplines. Um, we probably have a very famous statement at, at the House of Brave where we, we talk about we stab each other in the chest and not the back. Um, but there's a reason for that. We believe in the ideals of what positive conflict can bring. I, I think that you need uh, different minded individuals to, to be able to crack an idea or to crack at least a, a, a different solution to a problem. So the chaos generator essentially is a process that allows that to happen. It allows multiple disciplines to come together from multiple different areas. So uh, client is involved, media channel is involved, digital strategy. Um, and essentially it takes them through a process of trying to crack what the real problem is and then almost in essence crack the brief or the idea before the brief. Some clients uh, find it very difficult at, in the beginning. Some clients embrace it right from the start. However, I can tell you right now, it doesn't matter whether you're in frozen vegetables, financial services, or car manufacturing, every single client that we've taken through this process has, has come back for more. And I think that the reason they do that is, is because it allows them to start to inject some of their knowledge, some of their creativity. I think these, these ideas that we had, these boxes, you know, like creative was a sacred ground, strategy was a sacred ground, is absolutely bullshit. And, and I think that what this allows us to do is to allow the client to be part of solving the problem, not just being able to define the problem. And a lot of the time, don't forget that no one knows a client's business better than the client. Um, and, and I think that that's what's exciting. Um, it's a messy process, that's why it's called the Chaos Generator, but it's very important that once that happens that there are work streams and workflows that come out of it. And that's why you still need a very robust orderly process to be able to do the containment of a very chaotic, magical, uh, mad process that allows you to get to an idea. The Chaos Generator is essentially a morning or a day workshop. Uh, it's depending on the size and the challenge. Um, as I said to you, it usually holds a number of disciplines, but usually we like to have you know, someone who's actually in the product itself, so either sales, manufacturing, the client, the head of marketing or communications, uh, channel strategy, which is usually media or something like that, digital, which is such an important component, strategy, creative, and then obviously you know, the, the management of, of those things. We bring in other people like production, depending on the, on, the, on the challenge. We also bring in specialists, all depending on, and, and then what happens is they go through a, a series of exercises that help us to kind of unpack uh, what is actually essentially the problem behind the challenge itself. I freak out when clients talk about, you know, I, I have limited money so I need an alternative solution to my problem. I don't think that's actually the answer. What it is is about boxing smarter. So what it allows you to do is to bring in a lot of different minds that help you in a Ed De Bono style kind of way to think differently about the problem and look for a solution. So essentially what we classically would have done, I need a poster campaign to solve this. We may end up redesigning the pack. Uh, it fascinates me where this always takes us, but I can tell you two things. Uh, one, we always find better solutions. Two, we find solutions that actually generate more of a success for the client. This process is a process that is not essentially new. Uh, we used to do it in advertising. Um, I think over the last 20 years, we've lost a lot of that. It's about bringing it back, but also bringing it back with understanding some of the tools and, and strategies that we can use to help make that process flourish. You know, I've heard of things like tissue sessions, think tanks. The, the reality is those are very, those are long pontifications about nothingness. Uh, these are very much robust in terms of taking a problem and finding a solution. Um, it does save time. It does save money because it allows you to do the thinking up front and it allows you to not have to do that back and forth, back and forth. Um, and it's working and it's working for every type of client.